so I know Dean Link is planning on making uh, basically a map or a directory of different services that are provided in the community. And I think that that could really be a good resource for all the various service providers, for participants, for people who are in need of service. Um, you know, it's like things become disconnected sometimes because there's not a central place where people could really get information. So if we can get a map or we can get a directory or something that creates a central place we can get information, then I think that would be a wonderful thing. We really number one help us in our job but also to be able to help the clients and the participants to be able to access services. Uh, give us an example of some of the places you've had to look for. Um, a map will be really helpful because it's hard to find places around here and yet we don't know the area especially if we don't know if some people don't know the area then it'd be good for them. So tell us a little bit about what you think of this new map. I, I think it's a great idea because you know oftentimes when people are in search of uh, resources, they have no earthly idea where to begin, or what have you, but we have everything in one central location to where people can come to this one place and be, begin to look on this board to where I can find housing, uh, ID, or whatever the needs may be. I think this is going to be a great thing because oftentimes people don't have the bus fare to get all these different places. Uh, you need to go to this place for ID or you need to go over here for birth certificate. Or you got to go way across town to sign up for housing. But now if we have all this information in one location, it makes it easier for our community. Okay, hi, I'm Billy Jones again. Anyway, I want to kind of elaborate on a directional map that my friend here is just about to get started. Uh, like I say, most of us are not directionally literate, and we could use really all the help we can get, and this map is a great start. <laughs> it will really be helpful. Uh, my name's Louie, King of the Court Rodriguez player for the street ball league down here on Skid Row that we have and uh, Blaze came to me the other day and told me about a new project that they're going to be doing in the area about a, a special map so you can find certain uh, things that's very hard to find down here because there's no no type of service that provides a map for us and um, if you need an ID if you need a social security card whatever this map will tell you what street to go, how to get there, what block to take, what's near there. It's going to give you all the details on how to find these places, housing, what have you. Well, my name's Gibbs, E.G. Gibbs, and I'm a recent, I moved here from Texas three years ago. Right now I work as a case manager slash outreach worker for AmeriCorps. Uh, and I'm concerned because a lot of the maps that I've seen don't don't uh, give this area due credit. You see a lot of, you got the jewelry district, you got the fashion district, you got the garment district, but things like this that are a necessity, it's kind of like a blighted area between, maybe between wall all the way up to central and maybe third all the way up to eighth. Nothing's identified, it's just a big gray block. And the stereotype they have down here is that a lot of people have been down here a long time and know where everything is, but I have clients that will come to me from out of state, only been here a week or two. And sometimes I have to escort them where they're going because we don't have maps that list these types of, the type of organizations that I work with. Services for homeless people, services, even medical clinics. I haven't seen a map yet that list of where the medical clinics are. It's just a big gray blighted area. Yes, I think it should be all, all over the place. The map should be all over the place. You can know where you're going and everywhere. So since you've been living downtown, has there been a place that you've been searching all over for and you couldn't find? Um, yeah, when I first started this job, I couldn't find it. It took me like an hour to find it. Finally, I found it after an hour. Yeah. And so, Laura, we want to thank you very much for participating. And you'd expect to find these pamphlets up and around. Is there anything else you want to say? I want to say hello to Chris Listen. It's a good program, and everybody else should come here and check it out. They help you a lot. And I mean, I, that's why I asked him the question, because I'm concerned that these things need to be identified too. And a lot of them are not chronically homeless. They're actually looking to better themselves, and it would help if they had directions in that, in that regard. 
you know, and this booklet is going to be a great thing because we want to be able to open the book and look at all the service providers in the community and say, okay, of course, uh, maybe the the lamp have what you're looking for, or maybe the VOA is the people that you want to go see for this particular issue that you have. And I think this book that that we're putting together will be so much easier for the community instead of just turning people away and saying, I don't know. And if you look at the, the books that's out right now, most of them are outdated. I mean, if, it, if this has something to do with maps, I'd like to see some of the services, some of the service locations located and named, not just in a big old big square like this is Skid Row. A lot of times it's just a big square that says Skid Row. But there are a lot of services offered on Skid Row that a lot of outside people don't know about. But there are services on Skid Row. That's all, that's all I want to say. I think that uh, every employment specialist, counselor, case manager from any of the programs should have a booklet. And then I also think those booklets should be made available to, um, you know, the clients that come to the doors. Yeah, so if you want to get a, if you want to come down and have a pickup game, this is the only park in Skid Row that has an outdoor court and you could have competition here. All races come here, it's, there ain't no particular race that plays here. And we just, the map's a great idea, it's going to help people in the community and I would love to see that. Right, I, I used to be at 7th Street, so putting a new book out, people will realize where everything is at now. Uh, the Urban Connection is it's new in the community. This needs to be in the book that people will know and, and what the Urban Connection is all about. And, and you know, all the resources here at the Connection. A lot of people don't know all the resources at the Connection. Hey, honey. And the address is uh, 409 East 6th Street.